So we've got uh, the solar collector that we've made from a cardboard box that we have lined with aluminum foil or my favorite the chip bag inside that is uh, nice and shiny okay and you can use masking tape to adhere it to the cardboard or if you don't have masking tape use uh, sticky label material from water bottles will work to uh, as a tape to put the uh, the shiny surface on the cardboard so that's all it's going to take to make your uh, solar uh, uh, collector and so here we have the straw and we'll insert the um, chopstick into our mark which is about the third of the length of the straw we'll fold it back on itself okay we're going to attach a, a, a clothes pin just to hold everything nice and neat We've got the surfaces of the straw are right up next to each other. No space in between. That's why I like the chopstick design. It really works well. And now I'm going to take my multi-temperature general purpose glue stick in this glue gun. And it's good and hot. I want to make sure that glue gun's hot. And we're going to put it right down in the groove between the two straws. We're just going to push it down in there. Make sure it gets all the way in. Okay, and then we'll do that to the other side. Okay? Get it in both sides there. All right? Now I'm going to come back and I'm going to just give it another shot here on this side. So we got plenty. Don't want to skimp on the glue. Okay? There we go. So we have a generous amount of the, uh, the hot glue melted to both surfaces of the straw and it's being held in place by the uh, clothes pin and now I'm just going to dip it in the water and that will cool it off. So we want to make sure that these are totally cool before they're put into general use. The adhesive, you know, stays hot for a while. So Okay, here we are uh, with our um, solar uh, water heater and pasteurizer units. Uh, I've got them in three sizes. We have the largest one that I've done to date using a three liter uh, a plastic, clear plastic soda bottle uh, with a uh, 750 milliliter uh, wine bottle inside with the cork and inside there is the um, soda straw pasteurizer indicator. So we got that in there with the liquid and we put the top on and slide it down good over the cork and get it to fit in the uh, locked inside the so the top is inside the bottom and that one is ready to go. Here's our medium size one. We're using a one and a half liter uh, pop bottle that we've cut in half and inside we have a beer or a pop bottle that's uh, a brown uh, uh, glass and slide it down. That's a very nice unit. Holds together and then we have here we have the uh, aluminum can that's uh, painted uh, black. Uh, you can use a felt tip pen, you can use soot from a candle, we're going to take the one liter uh, clear uh, bottle and we put that inside and we're going to push it all the way down so that the, uh, the top of the plastic bottle touches the aluminum can and then we can insert our, uh, our uh, straw pasteurizer unit and screw the lid on and we're ready to go. So we got, we got large, we got medium, we got small. put uh, a generous amount of hot glue on both sides of the straw and we are going to insert that into the bottle so that the part that has the glue on it, hot glue on it, is below the water line. And then we're going to insert our, our uh, cork so it holds that in place. I'm going to take the top of the uh, 3 liter uh, clear plastic uh, soda bottle and I'm going to put that over the wine bottle and I'm going to put for my experiment today I'm going to put the uh, a, a digital thermometer down in so we can keep track of the temperature in our bottle. We're going to try to heat the water in this bottle up to 160 degrees Fahrenheit because that is the pasteurization temperature for a liquid and we got to get it up to 160 or this doesn't work. 
So we're going to do that in the sun and follow it for the next two or three hours and then we're going to monitor uh, our results and see what we come up with. Okay? So stick around. Okay, the time is 5 till 2. Our solar pasteurizer indicator is still intact, stuck together. And now let's check our digital thermometer. And I believe we have 161 degrees Fahrenheit, and that would translate into 71.6 degrees. The temperature is 173.9. Our pasteurizer indicator, I can see daylight. It's starting to, the glue is starting to release. I can see plenty of room between the straw. It should separate out and uh, um, flip totally out here in the next minute or so. We're opening up the uh, pasteurizer unit. I'm taking out the indicator and we can see that we have separation between the two straws and it looks like uh, our test was a big success. So, hey, for the solar pasteurizer and lots of other great things made out of recyclables, Visit recyclabits.com where you can get access to the illustrated instruction book and also a CD and some other great things. So check it out.